Hey folks, welcome back to another video. You join me uh, on the, my roof terrace here in Spain at the latest Airbnb place I'm at. Really nice on this one. The roof terrace is massive. I'm under this little pagoda kind of thing. And we've got behind me what I'm gonna call sling trellis for now. Bear with me though, because it's like one of the noisiest places I've ever been. The birds are chattering away, which is lovely. There's kids playing football, tennis, and a racquetball thing. The racquetball's dead loud. Uh, there's a tractor going on. There seems to be a driving lesson down there in the gravel car park. They don't seem to be very good because they skid every now and then. And I don't have no idea what's going on downstairs, but they seem to be dragging furniture around and stuff like that. The boy is over there looking pretty bemused, staring at me, uh, and then watching the world go by. So he seems quite happy. Today's video, a uh, relatively short one I hope, that's the plan anyway, as you'll have seen on the title, it's about gravity loading and whether that's something we need to worry about. Carabiners, I'll explain gravity loading in a second if you don't know, but there's a couple of carabiners set up here and here. This one is not gravity loaded and the gate and the barrel part are against our imaginary rock face. This one is in space so it can't rub against any rock and stuff, plus it is gravity loaded. Right? So what is gravity loading? Well. The principle behind it is that this carabiner here, if it tap, tap, taps against the rock over a while, you can hear it vibrate. The idea is that the barrel will go with gravity and do itself up so it wouldn't work itself undone. If it was the other way up and it was tap, tap, tap in a little bit loop like that, you can hear it going. The idea is it will undo itself and then become in a, in a weaker position potentially and be more liable to be pushed open and stuff like that. So gravity loading goes like that. The principle is sound. The trouble is, it kind of depends upon the frequency of the tap, tap, tapping. So um, I, I've been on just normal personal climbing belays and seen it sort of tapping against the rock as thing go, things go on and actually seen the barrel go against gravity. So that can happen as well. People from a rope access world working with power tools and stuff like that, they wouldn't use these kind of uh, carabiners. They'd use some form of uh, you know triple quad action. I'm not sure I'm not really up to date on that stuff, but a self-locking style carabiner that can't rattle, not just a regular screw gate. You can buy from DMM, maybe other brands as well, anti-rattle um, carabiners that the barrel, it's on like a finer thread, so they take forever to do up and, uh, and close and stuff like that. Uh, so they're kind of not really that useful for us as personal climbers. Does it matter though? Does it really matter? No, what I'm more concerned about is this bit of making sure that the gate is away from the rock like that. It's not always possible, but a little uh, sort of saying I learned years ago, uh, say learned, stole off someone else realistically, so thanks if it was you that invented this. Let's say I'm just clipping this bit of sling. What I'll do is I'll clip it away from me and then I'll flip it. So it's clip it, flip it. And by that, you get the gate away from the rock and you get it gravity loaded. And it's just easier to clip like that as well. It is another really good reason for the whole clip and flip thing. Um, there are times when however you do it, the carabiner will be rubbing against some rock. Maybe it's just in a bit of a recess and it's like that. That just is what it is. If you're really worried about it, you could oppose a couple of screw gates to have them the opposite way around. So one that way, one that way, and do whatever you need to do with it. Pretty rare that I'll do that. What is more common for me is to use some snap gates. Obviously, they, there's nothing gravity loaded about them, but we have to be really careful about making sure we still clip and flip it so it's away from the rock that can potentially open it up. And, you know, if I'm worried about it because it's not in space like this one, it is against the rock, then I'll just do uh, another carabiner and have them opposed like that. So that's like super safe. That's, I always say it's as good as a screw gate, but maybe in some circumstances it's even better. There's a question there for you. If you're watching this uh, from like a rock climbing instructor uh, point of view, or maybe you've got an assessment coming up, you might be sort of worried about making sure every carabiner is gravity loaded and stuff. I look at it personally as a nice to have. If you've got the headspace to think about it and get everything gravity loaded, great. You're kind of setting up something textbook. If you don't gravity load it, Am I that concerned? Well, no, not really. As long as you know, you're doing carabiners up and they're away from the rock and stuff like that, I don't particularly mind too much. If I came across this on an assessment, it's in space, great. I might say, is there anything you could do to make it just that tiny bit more textbook? And hopefully you'd say, yeah, I could gravity load it and you know, it's something to think about and promote a bit of conversation. So it's something to be aware of. It's not something to get super stressed about, my point of view anyway. 
I hope that video was of interest. I hope it was a nice short one as I intended it to be. And I hope the noise wasn't too much from here, there and everywhere today as well. Uh, I've got a good video coming up next, but I need to shoot a bit more for it about working a steep sport route here in Santa Linea. That should be a nice fun one. But do fire away suggestions and stuff that I can either do here or down on the crag, whatever it might be. I hope you've enjoyed the video, so if you have, please click the like button, the subscribe button, follow us on Insta, follow us on Facebook, uh, all the usual stuff that I go on about on the buy me a coffee link, the t-shirt link, all of that kind of thing, all the support, massively appreciated, it's just, it's great, and I'm really, really enjoying doing these videos, so thanks for any support that you've had. Thanks very much for watching again, more videos coming up very soon.